Hi, I'm Kendra Winchester. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Dylan, the birthday boy. You might see he has his birthday sign in the back and he's wearing his birthday bandana. Yeah. So, <laughs> so he's decided that he's going to help me with my book haul today. And he probably thinks all these are for him. So there you go. So I have some books that I received either from friends or I bought them or the publisher sent them to me. But first up, I have a stack of books that came from family or friends or I bought them. So let's get started with that. Yeah, you see this one? Okay. So first up is Furiously Happy by Jenny Lawson. This is her second uh, memoir, and this is a, more like a collection of essays. It says, a funny book about horrible things. I read this at the beginning of the year, and I really enjoyed it, and Autumn found one at a little free library. So I donated a bunch of books to the little free library, so I was like, I think I could take this one. <laughs> so I am really excited about it. A friend was clearing out her books and I actually picked up this book, The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. It came out uh, earlier this year and it's actually for Samuel and it's about like the 1960s wilderness of Alaska and he has a thing for Alaska since he read A.O. and Ivy so I think this is probably why he picked this up or wanted to pick this up. We'll see if he likes this one. Okay, you're going. My assistant has left me. Why don't you come a little closer? There we go, right? That's good. Now you can actually see me. The Man Booker Longlist came out and I actually already had my eye on this book and it was on my wish list and it kind of just twisted it over the edge. So I had a gift card, so I got to Amazon. So I went ahead and got The Overstory by Richard Powers. And this is uh, from Norton and a publicist over at Norton was like, hey, I know you don't feature men on Reading Women, but just you as a reader, you should check this out. And I was like, yes, yes, I should. And this book is about trees and it's supposed to be really weird. And I don't really know anything else about it. It's just about trees and it has a gorgeous cover. So I'm going to read it. Like, I don't know what that says about me as a person, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to reading my first book from this year's man book along list. So we had a bookish exchange on one of the groups I'm in, and I received uh, two of the Virago Modern Classics. So this is Deep Water by Patricia Highsmith, and it's introduced by Gillian Flynn. And then also we have The Magic Toy Shop by Angela Carter, introduced by Carmen Khalil. Um, this, these two are just gorgeous, and there's even more in the series. I actually put them on my wish list in the first place because I saw them over uh, uh, on Simon's channel from Savage Reads. He w had gotten some of these, and now I must have owned all of them. Thank goodness for Book Depository. But I've actually already read The Magic Toy Shop. I read that in grad school, and then I've never read Patricia Highsmith, period, so I'm looking forward to reading this. The, so the next book that I have um, is Not That Bad by Roxane Gay, and this is a anthology, uh, essay anthology from different people who have survived sexual assault of various kinds, both women and some men. And I thought that this was a very insightful book because there are situations in here that I hadn't even thought of. And so I will say, since this is about sexual assault, there's all of the trigger warnings for violence against women and and young children and different things so just be aware that that's what this book is going to be about there's a lot of frank discussions about it and the emotional turmoil of different kinds and yeah it's a very amazing collection i think it's a well-needed collection and it reminds us why the me too movement is important because of survivors like the ones that are in this book I also have to recommend the audio of that as well which is how i read it and each of the authors reads their own essay bring the tissues. I just, but it's so good. It's so well produced. So next are the books I received from publishers. This is Three Daughters of Eve by Elif Shafak, and this is uh, out from Bloomsbury. And this is about three different women. And I had this on my most anticipated releases list and Autumn received it and ended up just, she didn't want to read it. And so I was like, hey, I will read it. And then Matthew Shrapa said that he really enjoyed this book. So I'm looking forward to reading it even more now because yes, I always like it when my friends endorse like that, that choice. It's like, yes, I wasn't crazy for picking up that book. Thank you. Thank you for that validation. I also received a copy of Fruit of the Junkin Tree by Ingrid Rojas Contreras. Sorry, I'm trying to read cursive like backwards here. Uh, this is out from... This is out from Doubleday, and this is about a family and 
it was one of my most anticipated reads. So this book is about a family living in a gated community in Bogota and they actually meet uh, their maid or I think it's a cleaning lady, something like that, who comes in and it's like this dynamic of the tumultuous political climate that they're in but also the dynamic of class in there. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about this book. Autumn is so excited. She's taking this book on vacation and she's just yeah she bumped it up her TBR and this is probably her most anticipated release of the summer so I'm looking forward to see what she thinks about it but also reading it myself so we'll see. So next up is uh, Rachel Hang's Suicide Club, a novel about living and actually Russell over Income Paper Blog was like have you read that yet? I was like no he's like that's good that's good I was like okay I'm trying to avoid spoilers so I think that this book is a set in the future where nobody dies and it's like what makes life worth living if you don't die, I don't actually know. So I'm looking forward to reading it. And yeah, if Russell likes it, then I will probably really like it. At first, I thought it was like a cult novel about this group of people like, like in a cult deciding to have a suicide pact or something. And I was like, eh, but then I was like, oh, that's not what it is. So I'm excited about reading it. So I don't know about you, but I haven't actually read too many books from New Zealand besides Catherine Mansfield because we don't really talk about any other New Zealand writers, do we? Eleanor Canton? Maybe? Anyway, so we have Can You Tolerate This? A Collection of Essays by Ashley Young. This one's some sort of war award in New Zealand, and I can't remember what the award is, um, but this is out from Riverhead, and I'm very much looking forward to reading this because I definitely need to pick up the pace on Australian and New Zealand writers. I I just did not realize. I thought like there was like the, uh, you know, books come from the UK all the time. Why aren't we getting books from Australia and or New Zealand? You know, it makes, it's, it's a logical question. Anyway, I'm looking forward to reading this one and seeing what this book is all about. It's also blurred by Maggie Nelson. So a book out from Harper Voyager is one we've all been looking forward to and that is Becky Chambers third book uh, in her Long Way to Angry Planet series uh, is Record of a Spaceborn Few. I'm one of the few that actually preferred A Close in Common Orbit and I've heard from Mercedes that this book is kind of in between those two in its style and different things so I'm interested to see where I fall with this one but I've heard from a lot of people that they've really loved it so I, I think it'll be a great book. I think this is going to be another palette cleansing book and I'm really looking forward to that. So this is a book that I received a while ago and I wasn't sure if I wanted to read it but a lot of reviews have come out recently. This is a book from uh, Glynis McNichol and this is No One Tells You This. This is her memoir about being an older single woman who is childless and I read all the single ladies by Rebecca Tracer and has actually won the very first nonfiction reading win award and I think this covers a similar similar topic but in a memoir type way. So I'm very interested in reading this and I actually just found the audiobook on Scribd, so stay tuned. I might be talking about this very soon. So this is a book I received from Houghton Mifflin Harcourt and this is an arc of The Kinship of Secrets by Eugenia Kim and this is about a Korean family that leaves Korea for the America for greater opportunities and different things and then the war breaks out in Korea and what that does to their family and their time and different things. This is the when I received it in the mail I'd never heard of this book before so I'm very much looking forward to reading it and seeing what this is all about. A poetry collection I received is Flatlands by Ruth Williams and this is from Black Lawrence Press and this is a poetry collection that was pitched to me as just a poetry collection and a thought process on living in the flatlands. You know, since I'm a person who lives, who's an American, but I live in a region that's often ignored, like the flatlands, I'm very interested in poetry reflecting on your identity as where you come from in the region. So I'm very much looking forward to this poetry collection. Hopefully I will be reviewing it soon. We all love Jen Campbell here on Booktube, and as Sophie Carlin says, she is our queen. And um, I received a copy of In the Beginning of the World in the Middle of the Night from Jen, and she signed it, and so it's going to go on my special signed bookshelf, and I just love this book so much. So thank you very much, Jen, for organizing that, and thanks to Two Roads for sending me this from across the pond. Um, I am really excited about this book. This is a book that I love giving to people. I actually, I had, didn't own a finished copy because I had given them all away. <laughs> and I just really enjoy this collection. It's definitely a Kendra book. I love fairy tale inspired stories and this is exactly what they are and she has a lot of they're just really beautifully done and I love Jen Campbell's prose. So if you haven't already you definitely should go out and pick up a copy of The Beginning of the World in the Middle of the Night. I have two more books left. So we have Eloquent Rage by Brittany Cooper. 
struggling to talk. So this book is subtitled A Black Feminist Discovers Her Superpower and she actually had a TED Talk. So if you just Google Brittany Cooper TED Talk you can find it and she talks about uh, the intersection of race uh, and gender and feminism and just all these different things and I'm very excited to read this. I saw uh, Amanda Nelson reading this on her Instagram stories because Book Riot's Feminist Book Club picked it up for one of their selections. So I'm looking forward to finally reading this. I'd yes, I've already read the introduction and it's just amazing. And I believe she reads the audiobook and so I actually listened to the introduction on audio. And yeah, I'm very much looking forward to this one. And this is out from St. Martin's Press. Last, certainly not least, is The Incendiaries by Aro Kwan. Obviously this is from Riverhead because it has an amazing cover. Uh, they do just perfection on their covers. And this is about three characters and one of them joins like a religious cult slash terrorist group. Not really sure, but it's actually a lot slimmer than I thought. I didn't realize that the book, like the novel would be this small. She's been working on it, I think she said for 10 years. This is her debut and oh my goodness. And the, the, her, uh, this is actually the day it comes out. So yeah, I'm just really excited for this book. Heard nothing but wonderful things. One of my most anticipated reads of the year. Yes. So I guess we'll see. So hopefully I will be able to read it and review it soon. So stay tuned. So that's the last book I have. Thanks to the publishers for sending me those books. I greatly appreciate it. I would not be able to do my job without them. So thanks to them. And also thank you for watching. If you think I should bump one of these books up my TBR because you really enjoyed it or like to see me review it, definitely let me know. Uh, I definitely take that into consideration when choosing what to read. And I also like seeing more reviews of books. So, but that's it from me. And I guess I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.